And hello there folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. It's gadget time again. In today's gadget, we're going to build WD Glock, uh, Glock and Roll. Uh, it's kind of like a time mirror or time tunnel. So anyway, he wants to find Bigfoot. This will help him out because he don't have the right scientific equipment. No infrared readers, no thermal guns, no sound guns. So we'll do it with Uncle Alan's crackpot, Uncle Al's crackpot science stuff. We're going to have fun. All right. Go watch the wild files. That will tell you what Uncle Alan's been messing around last 30 years. And I have fun doing it. Okay, we're going to build a simple, simple time convex mirror for our WD block and roll. And stop scaring the hell out of, uh, what you might call it, out of the poor Bigfoot. If I drove around your, your living room in an ATV and saying, look, there's a Bigfoot, you'll freak out too. Okay. Now, it's very simple. It's a cylinder, all right? Open at both ends, and you have a little cot in the middle where WD lies down in. We have to build up because he's a fairly big guy. And we're going to do drawings. So you want a concave, like a trough, but both ends are open. So you have this concave, tube and you put your cod in there it's open at both ends all right and you do the exact same convex curve all right right on top of it all right fairly simple and you put the cot in there and you lie down in it and you stare at the top for a couple of minutes relax breathe deeply you're going to feel some weird things you're going to fear fear and stuff like that I keep telling you people a lot of people are stupid don't understand Earth's magnetic field solar vortexes time radiation time wave the whole thing even the Russians finally figured it out. When you built the two, make sure you ground the damn thing. I swear to God, no wonder you had weird effects and have flying saucers and uh, what you might call it, ball lightning and strange beings. Okay, that's a simple model. This is for WD Glock and Roll. You can go to Home Depot or you can go to Lowell's. You built the whole thing out of sheets of aluminum. It's like a trough, except it's open up both ends. All right, you lie in it. Another pan. There's WD right there. Okay. If you want, you can put a fan at one end. To help air circulation. Okay. To get that cool positive ion flow through the tube. Not rocket science, folks. Well, it is. It's basically quantum physics, but it's simple to make. Wear some earplugs, concentrate, relax. Lord, I have to write down everything.
Okay. And you'll start seeing things. You'll start feeling weird. Make sure you're grounded. Airflow's going through. A lot of these guys never had positive airflow. That's a big... You'll feel in a moment and it'll go away. First, everything will get translucent. And you start seeing things. It'll be clear as day. Could be the past, could be the present, could be 20 years into the future, 10 seconds ago. And during a trip, you're going to see other people live there. Okay? Because the meta field, what, what uh, uh, Facebook's been trying to do but failed, they don't do the tubes. If everybody did that and were meta, it'd be a lot easier. But... They won't. They're kind of stupid. They're a little slow. Okay. Once you do that, relax. Nothing's going to hurt you. This is only one type of kind of time mirror or viewing port. It only leaves you there a minute or two. You could spend seven hours, but in minute time, it's only like a few minutes. But you go in there and you meet other people. You meet the observers say, Hi, Uncle Al sent me over here. Okay? They're not human. They used to be human. Just tell them Uncle Al sent you over there and he's you're not doing anything to be stupid and, and stuff. You're just there to learn. Okay? And a lot of them will tell you to leave. And tell, say, Hi to Uncle Al. Okay? That's the Alphans. Dolphins like to hang around there. The more humanoid it looks, more human it looks, that's the norms. And they'll tell you to stop screwing around, you stupid monkey. And tell you to go home. And say hello to Uncle Al. Because Uncle Al has the tech. Okay? They still laugh at my junky flying saucer. It's not a flying saucer. It's an unidentified flying object. And no, I didn't fly around that Air Force base. Suck it up. Okay. And there we go. Fairly easy. The fan will push cool. Positive ions. You're grounded. Sheets of aluminum in the tube. And you're sitting on a cot. Or lying on a cot. Alright. Fairly easy. Just make sure you ground it. We don't want to get barbecued WD in there. And I can see Bigfoot. What's that smell, Uncle Al? Barbecued uh, WD Glock and Roll. He forgot to ground himself. Well, do we bring the sauce? Yeah, bring a couple bottles. Okay. And then you're in there. You'll meet uh, in the Meta Zone. You will meet the observers. That's either the norms or the uh, alphans. You meet other creatures. I like the squid people. And you meet the other ones, the Terrans. The real lizard people. Yeah, I know. The roaches just covered the whole planet. You know, what do you expect when aliens are having sex with monkey people? But anyway, uh, you meet the Terrans and then you meet angels and you meet demons they weren't kidding about heaven and hell okay so like i said less time you spent there be polite don't be an idiot don't curse at these people because they live there okay you just say uncle Alan brought me over here i'm just checking it out for a couple hours and i'm leaving they laugh because they know it's only a few minutes you're going to be trying to Drift back down. Make sure you set, set a timer. And you want to record everything by talking on a microphone. If we have still tape recorders. It doesn't work on cell phones. So because of the flux. And then you also I tell a lot of people you should have a. Oops, can't get it today. Have one of these, a tiny little notebook. Let me write down on this one. 
Oh, yeah. You don't want to know about that. Okay. And you take down your notes. You get a whole bunch of these fairly cheap. Now, if you're the type that wets themselves or have bad experiences or stuff, wear a crash helmet. Make sure you wear a flight suit and diapers. Because I had a few test subjects. They're still wandering around Bakersfield. That's all right. But anyway, like I said, if you pee in your pants, get nauseous, wear a overalls, jumpsuit, wear loose clothing, okay? Wear a crash helmet if you're going to have violent fits or you go nuts and you find out, where the hell am I? Because if you do this wrong, you end up like, where's WD? He disappeared. Okay, you want to do it on the days of a full lunar cycle or when we have uh, solar activity or when certain planets are in line. <laughs> All right, and this is gadget time for WD's homemade kind of a time machine. And after that, you could talk to any Bigfoot fairly easy. Because they also do meta time. Tell them Uncle Al sent you over there. And they don't like citrus. Keep telling this to people. Peaches, pears, apples. God, I hate citrus. All right, folks. <coughs> I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. Do something good. Remember, all of this is illusion. All right, stop wasting your time. Do us your bot. Spent time from Friday to Saturday. No social media, no phones. Just you and your family talking, eating food with the neighbors. Don't watch TV. Bye now, and you have a nice night.